she's leaving. That being Pikimi Amano, a much beloved figure in the VTuber scene of the VOMS project, who is preparing for their third anniversary with a pop-up shop to be ran from March 4th through March 20th. Pikimi has been on hiatus from streaming since January 7th. This morning, tweeting out, sorry for being silent for almost a month. Thank you so much for all your support and the kind words you guys gave me while I was gone. I am a lucky kettle to have people like you. Then giving us this YouTube link, that leading to an announcement video that was less than two minutes long, fully subtitled in English, and wherein Pika Me had announced her graduation would be set for March 31st of this month. Thanking her viewers for the support, acknowledging how shocking this news is, and for this month saying that she has plans for a lot of fun. Ending the announcement by stating, I will see you guys on my next stream. This was then followed by an important notice directly from Bomb's project, stating, we regret to inform you that Amano Pikami, a member of our group, will graduate from the group and terminate her activities as of March 31st, 2023. We have discussed this with Pikami herself and in respect of her wishes, we have decided to quote unquote graduate in a positive way. With only one month left, we hope you will continue to support Amano Pikami until the end. This statement then continuing on about the pop-up store, saying, please be assured that the VOMS third anniversary pop-up store, VOMS Park, which we have been announcing since last month, will be held from March 4th as scheduled. This English statement further saying, this event will be planned and implemented after we shared the Pikami graduation with Marui in advance, and they said they would love to send us off together. Since this event will be the last time that the four current VOMS members will be together, we have been planning this event with the hope that it will be a place for everyone to create memories in a positive way. As previously announced, we will be broadcasting a pre-event announcement on the VOMS Project channel on March 2nd. We hope everyone will enjoy it, as we have prepared a plan related to the graduation of Pikami. The statement would continue on, giving us some post-graduation information, saying the following actions are scheduled to be taken during March 31st. The Pikami Amano channel content will be set to private. Channel memberships will be closed. Social media accounts will become inactive. Pikami content on the VOMS Project YouTube channel will be made private and Pikami products and merchandise will end their sales. In closing, saying of the VOMS Project that Pikami Amano's activities played a major role in the project gaining greater momentum than originally thought and also confirming that VOMS Project itself and the activities of the other VOMS members will continue. Pikami Amano did debut back on March 19th of 2020, meaning she still will be with us for her third anniversary. With this pop-up shop announcement coming on February 10th, Pikimi Amano had lots of attention given to her just days before, especially throughout February 6th and 7th, as she had originally planned to return from a one-month hiatus to play Hogwarts Legacy, that plan then being cancelled and Pikimi continuing her hiatus. The reactions to that decision and other discourse before that, now bleeding out onto Twitter now, with some expressing that they are happy with this announcement, saying, I consider this a win. Thank you for graduating her. Also, keep a tighter leash on your fanboys and orbiters. They seem to be attacking other communities as well. Thanks. This as others are advising caution, such as Milky, stating no matter what way someone wants to paint this in the light, bullying, doxing, death threats, and harassment are absolutely vile. It's just the worst in humanity, and you can't justify it. Tormenting others is never the answer. People have feelings, not only you do. One VTuber expressing her viewpoint was Face Connects Tenma Miami. Her initial tweet this morning, possibly referencing this whole situation, having now been removed from Twitter for violating Twitter rules, not only confirming that she was bonked by management for that tweet, and following up with a clarification for a management decision to clarify the bullies. The bullies get the rope. Tenma also later on her community tab on her YouTube channel confirming that she has been suspended from Twitter. Here saying it was for 24 hours, but this statement saying for 12, further saying, but it is okay, no issue. Others in Phase Connect also reacting, including Chisaka Airi, sharing Pikami was actually one of the first VTubers I ever watched. So yeah, this really is upsetting. Phase Connect's Sheena, seeing the sad news and saying further, I'm gonna lay low and crawl back into bed. Kind of shell-shocked right now. That along with Phase Connect's Leah, reacting with Pikami. She seems so happy based off her tweets, but selfishly, my heart is broken. We also have very good friend of Pikami, Kason, simply sharing that she needs time.
time, along with friend Kamishiro Taishi, confirming that it looks like today is a very rainy day. Next, we also have Prison Project Yoda Rikado. After the announcement, tweeting out, I am glad to have met her and happy that she let me into her life, where we get to talk about anything. She's the sweetest person I have ever met, and I only want happiness for her. Saying further, no stream today, just hanging out with the kettle, meaning yes, she is hanging out with Pika Me, and then also posting this, Pika the Rock. This is a real event. Pika Me in this scenario sharing, I've never hung out with other VTubers offline before, until here, meeting with Yoda. Next up, reacting, we also have Vishojo Silvervale, giving us a very interesting reply. Even though I knew this was coming, it hurts so much to see. Again, repeat. Even though I knew this was coming, it hurts so much to see. We love you so much, Pika. Thank you for all the cute kettle laughs and positivity you spread into the world. You deserve better. You've motivated and inspired so many. I hope you find happiness in your next adventure. Whole Live English is Maury Calliope saying, thank you for being such a positive source of happiness to so many people, myself included. You're so very loved. All the best to your future. Cooking VTuber Geary here with you are such a wonderful happy kettle and I will miss you lots. Always remember you are loved by many and I wish you nothing but the best in your next journey. Vicho Joe's Project Melody saying, my dorky kettle. Girl, not gonna lie. I'm surprised to read this. I totally respect your decision, of course, but damn it, we will miss you. Thank you for all the laughs. Haruka Caribou here with Pikami. Thank you for everything, for bringing so much happiness to everyone, for inspiring others, for being such a positive person. The times I got to spend with you were so fun. Your energy is infectious. I'll miss you so much. And remember, you are loved by many. Sarway here with We Will Be Missing You A Lot, Pikami, and I wish you the best for your next journey. Thank you so much for inspiring so many of us. Zeke Marigold chiming in with thank you for all the happiness you gave me and your community. You have made me laugh in the darkest times. Whatever you choose to do next, we will support you all the way. Techie saying this is such heartbreaking news. Wherever you go and wherever you do and whatever you do, we will always be cheering for you. Peeky me, we are going to miss you so much. Thank you for everything. Production Kawaii's Nene Amano here. Peeky me, thank you so much for being such a positive force. I wish you the best in your future endeavors. We will be supporting you until the end. Along with Raina Sun saying thank you for everything, Peeky me. You're such an inspiration and bright light in the community. When I first started, you were someone I turned to and watched to learn more about VTubing and streaming in general. Thank you so much again. Wishing you so much success and love. Professor Lando here with the responses from such a variety of creators and fans is a testament to how infectious your joy was. I wish you success and happiness wherever you go. Thank you. Hall Live Indonesia's Irani EO15 dropping us these hearts. Girl DM with big heckin' love picking me. Buff Pup here with whatever your next adventure is in life, you're going to crush it. Your creativity and tenacity is what makes you so amazing and inspiring and I hope whoever gets to see you shine next appreciates your hard work so much. Vishojo Zentrea with My Little Pika. I am the lucky one to have met you and made me laugh so much and I enjoyed my times with you. Thank you for everything. We give you all our love and a reminder to never be afraid of reaching out. There's always someone who will help you. I'll miss you. Kana Uro here with Pikami. You were the one that brought me down the rabbit hole of VTubers. Thank you so much for all the fun times. We all love you and will never forget you and your kettle laugh. I truly wish you the best and hope you continue in life with the loving, positive energy. Fifi dropping on us this shot of Pikimi up on the billboard. And then after the announcement, Pikimi herself pulling a gun on us. Tweeting now saying, quote, I love Pika as my girlfriend and she has boing boing. Before I graduate, say it now. Bombs Projects, Tomashika replying, if I say it, do I get to be your girlfriend? Vivi reacting with, I love Pika as my girlfriend and she does not have boing boing, but that's okay because flat is justice. Your Rikido also backing that up. No boing boing. Zen just saying, just pull the trigger, Pika. While Bao is here, loudly proclaiming, I love Pika as my girlfriend and she has boing boing. Following up with, I forfeit my C cups to you and only you, Pika me. Noble at Las Paz would also notice the trends, saying, I'd like to imagine that this is making Pika me the happiest little tea kettle seeing these two trend together. We have the artwork. Aperture giving us this waving Pika. Keen Biscuit here with the yellow hearts. And Uga, drawing while waiting for Pika Me's comeback, but I didn't expect this to happen. And now for the obvious, we are all experiencing the five stages of grief and none of us are at acceptance. Here we have a mixture of denial and bargaining. I hope Pika Me's retirement is an April Fool's prank, while others are hoping that Pika Me goes independent or joins another group or agency. Others addressing the discourse saying, wish there was an easier way to combat haters and aunties 
They need to be stopped or things like graduating or hiatus will happen a lot. Further, speaking on Pikami, she was bullied while growing up in Japan for being half American, decided to target the English speaking audience in her VTuber career because she thought they'd be more kind to her and then bullied into quitting by the same audience. I'm sorry, Pikami. The same user also sharing, I've already muted the tweet, but it's a weird feeling just having a lot of trans hate tweets right in my mentions. Saying further, probably the most I've felt Twitter's ecosystem change, because I swear, back then, you'd have to go out of your way to find these kinds of tweets. And speaking further on this and Twitter's handling of these types of situations, here we have Coefficient. Having earlier rolled out his brand new talk show with Tenma, while also stating, I just heard about Pikami. My heart is heavy right now. The easy thing to do right now is be angry about the situation. But I'm gonna be honest, I'm tired of being upset. I'm tired of feeling this way. I just want to enjoy the last month of Pikami and be happy of her legacy that she left on the internet. I'm not telling other people what to do or how to feel, especially since it's more upsetting once you learn about her past. But I know that inciting hatred is the last thing she would want. So I'm gonna sit here, watch the tea kettle enjoy her last month on this space. That is just days earlier, Coefficient would notice this, saying, I'm starting to think Twitter has definitely changed their algorithm to attract negativity to the timeline more than usual. From Twitch bans and Harry Potter games to gatekeeping music communities and drama posts that could easily be solved with a single direct message, I had my fair share of Twitter for a while. This potentially evident as we look back to Hellhound VTuber Sender. Seen here spending time with her parents while also inflicting this abomination onto Twitter.com saying gotta top them all. But once again, as we had reported earlier, it was her tweet about her metal cover of the song CPR that just simply got out of hand on Twitter.com. With this particular tweet, for some reason, one week after being posted, then went viral in all the wrong ways, being quote retweeted over 14,000 times and leading to tons of harassments to not only to sender, but as well as to those who helped her, including longtime composer of numerous VTuber projects, that being Daryl Vanessa Barnes. Once again, a very accomplished musician, but further sharing, I got messages telling me to KMS and quit music for my involvement in sender CPR cover. I won't post a screenshot. I want my platform to be one of positivity and kindness, not one that gives hatred a stage. Still, I think there are some things worth saying. If you're so emotionally bankrupt that your source of fulfillment in life is spreading hate, I sincerely hope you find peace. Get help if you need it. We're all fighting our own battles, including the creators you send hatred to. And two, stay pressed. Cinder and her cover are metal as f Later saying, thank you for the outpour of love and support. I'm a little overwhelmed, but I will 100% be okay. I love y'all and I mean it. Many asking if this is a community problem, but now some thinking this might be a platform problem. Has Twitter changed? And are they changing the way categories slam two directly opposing audiences up against one another? As even their banner here says, my Twitter is like a diary, except I'm making it everyone's problem. One need not look further as to Pikimi's plans after graduation as back on May 29, 2020, she let us know, f*** this, I'm selling meth. Oh, shut the f*** up, you shut the f*** up. Also expressing her well wishes to peeking me today was Vishojo's Iron Mouse, later tweeting out this mysterious message, which reads, Don eight plaz, plasm, wait, dona, tepal, asthma. What does it mean? This says, last night, Iron Mouse unveiled her brand new racing princess model, including ear wiggle, tail waggle, tongue limb, and feet stompy action. She has loads of brand new faces, even including the ability to change the entire outfit. This new look being concepted by Epibi, illustrated by Nanalis, and modeled by Kevin. After the stream, Mouse would say, thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight. A night that included a new background for Mouse, that by way of Ubu Media, presenting us with this racing queen background, that along with a brand new animated intro, that done in this fighting game style. Mouse sharing my fave part of my new intro is me doing the two Kaiser Henshin. Wait, what is this? Two Kaiser, two Kaiser Henshin. What? 
what is this nerd crap? The creator of the animation, Higato, being very happy with Mouse's reception. That all being accompanied by a very sick beat from Shiro Beats. Saying, I got the privilege to make Iron Mouse's new background music. I hope you guys enjoy it. This new track entitled Satan and available on streaming services today. There was also a brand new merch drop offering up new posters, shirts, and more. As of next, we check in with the half demon Numi taking part in the Uwu Market WeebCon event alongside tons of other VTubers, including yours truly, and also taking part in the Offkai Expo, who said we loved her so much last year, we just had to get her back. That is, we're back with Neurosama, the AI VTuber, who just last week collabed with Numi. Let's take a watch. Aw, oh, that's sweet of you to say, but I still want to throw you down and ravage you. What do you mean by that? What? That now leading us over to Mary, lead writer of Meriwether Media and Dog Boy, taking notice of this collaboration and saying, Numi, you are feeding this machine's algorithm and she's about to pass my follower count. You traitor. We very much can confirm at this time, Mary Dog has been left in the dust. Neurosama now racking up 218,000 followers on Twitch.tv. Further with Vyugan, we have Uni, illustrator and dog VTuber, alerting us that as promised, the not safe for work variant of her silver veil is finally here. Stating I love drawing bunny suits, I should do it more often. Along with giving us this picture of brother in the oven. Just who is that? That's right, it's a Pestino plush. Uni confirming the campaign was a success. With more than 500 Pestini sold. And saying I am so grateful to all of you. Pesto Besto. Also with Viugan, we have Momo taking part in this Viugan collab. That being their cover of Kira's Hooked. Along Alongside teasing us with this new look for her Ray debut, asking, are you ready? And also adding, what? Waiting for Momochi to stream again, haha, <laughs> funny. And lastly today, we have the eternal question, are the Gorillas VTubers? Releasing their brand new album and cordially inviting us to an official live listening party today. This being a full one hour stream of listening to, yes, the whole album. And boy, that looks like a VTuber to us. All right, and following up again, thank you so much for your warm wishes to Cody for his birthday yesterday, along with his successful release of his King cover. That artwork from Alisha Minkovo saying, I'm really happy to announce I was the artist in charge of Cody's first cover. This is certainly new for me. Cody worked really hard putting this together, so please check it out. In regards to our other co-host, Lady and Heidi, once again, they are teaming up with Prison Project's Yoda Rikado and Rita Kamashiro with the Cyber Angel VTuber updating us. The waiting room for our cover is up now. See you this weekend for the cover release and after party that's set for March 5th at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern. And we're back again with Kana Fuyuko as together we have released a brand new free 3D model of our intern bot. Check it out with the link below. And that is all for this episode. As always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Send your VTuber news to our Discord. We record live on Twitch.tv and we'll have more things VTubers say for you soon.